Hey, welcome to WalleyeWorkshop.com. We're in Scott's workshop today. I'm going to be prepping this 99 Pro Kicker to put on the Pro V here. While I'm doing this, Scott's doing something pretty interesting. He's going to show you guys how to hook up 24 and 36 volt for your trolling motor systems. So let's see what Scott's doing over there. All right, thanks, Mike. You know, it seems every year me and Mike get a phone call or two on how to hook up a uh, either a 24 volt battery system for their trolling motor or a 36. And it's not like they don't know how to do it, it's just they're a little unsure, so they, they ask us. They know we've done it a hundred times. So I got three Optima batteries here. First I'll show you uh, the 24 volt real quick. I'm not going to permanently mount them, but I'll show you how, where to hook the jumper cables, and then we'll take our voltmeter here and uh, prove our theory. Okay, for the 24 volt system, ignore this third battery here. Uh, we'll do it out on the bench so it's easier to see the, in the locations of the boat are a little tight uh, quarters, so we'll do it out here. Uh, what we want to do on the battery on the right, I have the negative towards the front of me here, the positive towards the back, the opposite side of me. So I'll hook the jumper lead up to the positive of number one. Over here, I got the negative out away from me and the positive towards me. So what I'll do is I'll take the uh, jumper cable and hook that up to the negative of battery number two. Now out here, on the negative side of the number one and the positive side of number two, that's where our 24 volts come in. In a tight compartment, you wanna, you wanna put battery one negative or positive and battery two negative or positive. So they're, they're both opposites at the front. Because that's your, when your cables come out of your boat, that's where you wanna do it. You don't want a bunch of wires crisscrossing and uh, making your compartment look like a big mess. So that's the 24 volt system right there. And uh, next I'll show you the 36. Okay, similar to the 24 volt system, the 36 is nothing but three batteries in series, they call it. They call, when it's in series, it's you add the voltages together. So what we do, the two batteries up here are the same as what the 24 volts were. So I got the positive on my right, or negative on my right here towards me, positive away. And you try and keep it in line so you're not crisscrossing wires like I explained earlier. So on the third battery, this is exactly how these batteries sit in my Pro V. So that's why I set it up this way. If you open the rod locker from uh, the camera's direction there, this is exactly how you'd see the battery. So I go positive to negative. So these two batteries would come to 24 volts there. To make 36, you take the positive off this number two battery. We'll just temporarily cinch that guy down and go to the negative of battery number three. So that's it, now we got three batteries in series. And if we check our voltage at the positive and negative at the front side of the boat where my wire harness comes out, we're gonna see 36 volts. It should be a little higher, we're at 37.84. So that's it, it's pretty simple how you set it up. All right, so in a nutshell, that was it. The 24 volts we showed you and the 36. And that's uh, two batteries in series gives you the 24, three batteries in series gives you the 36. Now all we gotta do is lug these babies up into the boat and we'll show you how to do that and uh, we'll show you how to dress up the wires real nice too so you don't have any uh, issues with the wires getting damaged up in the boat. So let's go on in the boat. Let's go. Let's go! Alright, well we lugged the batteries up into the boat here and uh, dropped them in the trays underneath the rod locker and it's this Lund actually has quite a bit of room so it's not that difficult. A lot of boats don't have that much room. But the big key is um, you get those batteries in there and as you'll see in the video, uh, you don't want those batteries moving around too much. So we took the foam that came out of the box from the Optima batteries uh, and just kind of wedged it in place so those batteries have minimal movement. Uh, if you don't have something like this, you can probably use the noodles that we uh, that the kids play with in the swimming pools or uh, that we, we tie our uh, crawler harnesses up with. Another thing I do to dress up the wires is uh, there's an adhesive backed, uh, I don't know, it's like a wire tie anchor. You can get it any. Uh, Home Depot or Menards, whatever. And I use those to dress up the wires, give it some strain relief so if those batteries do move, you're not tugging on your connections. A loose connection will cause corrosion and uh, you'll have problems on the water. Um, another thing, if uh, you guys are going to do that yourself, we're going to have a downloadable PDF file that will show the exact setup of the, of the 36 volt and also the 24 volt in conjunction with the starting batter, battery and a uh, battery charger. So if you want to do all this yourself, it doesn't have to be a new boat. There's plenty of guys out there changing batteries on all their old their old tubs and uh, 
Doesn't matter how old the boat is, you got to replace the batteries every few years. So go to our walleyeworkshop.com, download our PDF file, and we'll show you how to do this right. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, next week, we're going to show you how to mount the uh, 99 Pro Kicker, uh, Mercury Pro Kickers to the back of our Pro Vs. Uh, they're tiller model kickers, they're not the kind that are tied to the big motor, so they're fairly simple. Just got to run the uh, electric for the battery, and away we go. We'll, it won't be long, we'll be on the water fishing our first derby. Thanks for watching.